Dracunculus medinensis, also known as guinea worm, dragon worm, fiery serpent. What is Dracunculus medinensis? It is a tissue nematode that causes a parasitic infection in humans. This infection is called Dracunculosis, also known as guinea worm disease. Why is it called guinea worm? The name guinea worm is derived from the traditional name of a region called Guinea region of Western Africa. Good news, after smallpox, guinea worm is on target to be the second infectious disease of humans, to be eradicated from the world. The global eradication campaign by WHO, to provide clean drinking water, has greatly reduced the number of cases over the years. Habitat of guinea worm, prior to the start of its eradication campaign, guinea worm was found in tropical regions of, tropical Africa, Middle East. India, root of transmission of guinea worm. Humans are infected by drinking water containing tiny infected crustaceans, also known as water fleas. These crustaceans, cope pots, are infected by larvae of guinea worms. Life cycle of guinea worm. During its life, guinea worm completes its development by alternating between two hosts, crustaceans, cope pots also known as water fleas, human beings. Steps of its life cycle are, guinea worm larvae are found in fresh water, where they are ingested by copods of the genus, Cyclops. Within the copod, the larvae develop to an L3 stage, within 14 days. This is the infectious stage of larvae. When the infected copod is ingested by a human being or a mammal, by drinking unfiltered water, the copod is then dissolved by stomach acid and dies. This causes the release of larvae into stomach. Larvae penetrate the host's stomach and intestinal walls to enter the abdominal cavity and retroperitoneal space. There, they mature and reproduce by mating of male and female adult worms. Fertilized female worm migrates to the surface of skin almost a year after the infection. The female worm causes the formation of a blister on the skin surface, generally on the lower extremities. When the blister ruptures, the female worm slowly emerges from the skin. Over the course of several days or weeks, this stage causes severe pain and irritation to the host. When the host, in an attempt to alleviate the pain, submerges the affected body part in water, the female worm releases thousands of larvae into the water. These larvae are ingested by crustaceans, and the cycle repeats all over again. What is Dracunculosis? It is also known as, guinea worm disease. During the migration of female worm to reach skin surface, it causes symptoms by causing allergic reactions to the body. These symptoms are, hives, fever, dizziness, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. What is meant by fiery serpent? As the female worm moves in the subcutaneous tissue, mostly towards lower limbs, it leads to intense pain localized to its path of travel. This burning sensation has led to the name fiery serpent. Once the worm reaches the skin surface, it causes the formation of blisters in that area. Bursting of the blister creates an open wound that acts like an opening for the worm to emerge and exit the human body. Its emerging period may extend over several weeks. As the worm emerges, the open blister often becomes infected with bacteria, resulting in redness and swelling, eventually leading to formation of abscesses. Diagnosis Visual Examination The thin white worm emerging from the blister will confirm the disease. X-rays, dead worms sometimes calcify, and can be seen in the subcutaneous tissue by X-ray, blood tests to detect. It will show increased IgE and eosinophilia. Treatment There is no vaccine to prevent the disease, nor is there any medication to treat patients. Instead, treatment focuses on, slowly and carefully removing the worm from the wound. Over days to weeks, the removal of worm by entwining it around a stick resembles the symbolic rod of Asclepius. That is a renowned symbol used for medicine and healthcare. What is rod of Asclepius? It is, is a serpent entwine rod, wielded by the Greek god Asclepius, a deity associated with healing and medicine. In modern times, 
It is the predominant symbol for medicine and health care.